Hey, welcome back to this week's Midwest Outdoors. I'm Tony Roach. Today we're in search of perch. I love getting out hole hopping, looking for perch on these shallow water flats. A lot of times that means traveling light and drilling a lot of holes to find those fish, but when you find them, they're thick. Today I'm traveling light with that otter hideout. It's really key, it's a one-man shelter. I've got the 40V from Strike Master, a couple rods, and we're gonna go after some jumbo perch. When I'm in full fish finding mode, I'll just leave my stuff behind. I don't need to drag all that stuff to find these fish. I've got plenty of bait on here that's not gonna fall off. I've got my Markham. So literally, I just grab my rod and my Markham. Full search mode, I just go from hole to hole until I find those schools of fish. I don't drag all my stuff behind. It just weighs me down and it slows me down in getting to those fish quicker. There he is. Just that soft, subtle bite. I love it. Perch notorious for that. There he is. Uh, not a bad fish to start the day. A few holes in and we're on them. You know, that's the thing is, even though there's two, three feet of ice, these fish are in six, seven feet of water. So never assume you know where the fish are at. These perch are notorious roamers. They feed on a lot of different things, whether it's everything from bait fish to invertebrates. They'll come up in these shallow water flats, hide in the weeds, and they've got lots and lots of food up here. That's why they're up here feeding. They're putting the feed bag on as they develop eggs. and. Not a bad perch, you know, that's the key is just staying on the move, traveling light. You know, I can go grab my stuff and kind of s drill some more holes in this area, but th the name of the game with perch fishing on these shallow water flats is find them first and then set up. There we go. A couple of them down there. What's cool about this shuttle is not only the fact that I've got it really zoomed in and it's ultra light and portable, but it's also got some really cool features built in. It's got a little USB port so you can charge your phone. It tells you exactly how much battery life you have. I've even got a little LED light here I can use, but it's just really, really nice unit for hole hopping. It's ideal for portability, but it's got a lot of cool built-in features. It's even got some rod holders in the back so I can put my rods in the back. There's another one. Put my rods in the back so when I'm hole hopping, I can just move around with ease. There we go, there's a better one. Man, there's a bunch down there. Look at them all on the screen. You can see them coming and going. It's nice to have that zoom. Look at that, look at that, look at them all. Look at them, they're just shooting off the bottom. They're all over down there. Nice. Love it. That's what Perchin's all about. Finding that school, landing on them, and getting down there as quick as you possibly can. There's another one. Ooh, I like this spot. <laughs> Literally drop back down and another perch. That's another good one. There we go. Nice healthy perch. I like that color. When they're in this shallow water, they get that really nice gold color. I love it. Oh, I water that bait. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna go grab my stuff here. A little breezy out here, even though it looks like it's a nice day. It's quite cold. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that otter and sit up and rate in this spot. There we go, it's just nice to get out of the wind. You know, sometimes that wind not only cuts through you, but it also helps with the bite detection. You know, a lot of times when those fish are a little bit finicky, you wanna make sure you have total control over that rod and it's nice just to flip the shelter, get out of the elements so the wind's not blowing your line and you can really concentrate on those subtle bites. There we go. <laughs> I like it. You know, drilling holes, moving around, find the fish first, it always pays off. There we go. I love this St. Croix Croix Custom Ice Series. This is the micro spoon rod. If you're a per perch fisherman or pan fish and love fishing small spoons, this is the rod for you. As you can see, it's got plenty of backbone to hold small spoons of this size, but it's got a lot of sensitivity and tons of backbone. Look where that starts. This is a 28 inch rod. It's light action, but it's an extra fast tip. That's really important. When you're fishing a St. Croix, you know that that extra fast tip means it's gonna load up right here. So when you're fishing those really small spoons with small hooks, you can get plenty of sensitivity, but lots of backbone. That's really, really important, especially for perch fishing. <laughs> that one came like two feet off the bottom. We're into him now. 
Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Not too bad, look at that. Just inhaled that bait. That's what you wanna see. Although I hate it when they inhale it like that because then I can't get back down there. Oh, nice fish. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. There is a nice looking perch. Man, they're just thick down there. They're getting bigger by the minute. I tell you what, if you want to catch a lot of jumbo perch on these shallow water flats, it pays big dividends to do the work first. Get to a spot, drill a bunch of holes. Don't worry about dragging your gear around. Fish fast until you find the fish. Once you land on them, you can set up and reap the benefits of catching big perch like this. Hey, I'm Tony Roach. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.